Okay. I'm back with another video. Who thought that I'd be um, back? But here I am. So throughout this quarantine period, I've really been trying to grow my facial hair. So ever since we went to South Isolation about three or four weeks ago, I have not shaved my upper lip at all in the hopes to grow a moustache because I can I, I can grow hair around, as you can see, like around here, but I can't grow any up here. I'm trying. So hard to do that. So today I thought, what would life be like with a moustache? <laughs> I know, strange thought. So this got me thinking and basically I did a small Photoshop of myself with a moustache and then stuck it on my social media, on my Instagram and my Facebook. And it seems so far that a lot of people are actually falling for it. I mean, unfortunately, a lot of people are kind of taking the mick. I think it looks quite cool, but I guess I'm the only person who thinks that. Here's the picture. Um, that, that was what I looked like with a moustache. Obviously it's fake, but it got me thinking, I wanna, I wanna challenge myself this week. So every single day this week, I'm gonna do a Photoshop to try and prank people on my social media. Now, obviously, if I go too extreme, then people are gonna figure out that I'm, <laughs> that I'm making it all up and that it's not real. And of course, it's gonna have to stay consistent as well. First of all, every other prank that I do from now on until the end of the week has gotta, <laughs> Who's gonna include me with a mustache if I'm gonna put myself in it? I'm thinking that maybe on the last day I can try and uh, edit a video together to make myself look like I'm doing something. I don't know yet. Welcome to Matt's week of pranking um, his social media following. Unfortunately, I lost all the footage of me editing this uh, mustache on my face. So you've gotta believe me that I did edit a mustache. It was Justin Bieber's mustache actually. Cause that's the that's the style I was going for. So that's day one. Some of the responses that I've got. Someone saying that's awesome. Brilliant. I couldn't agree less. I could not agree more. Someone else commented, what's crawled under your nose, Matt? And finally we've got another comment. Shave it, you look so questionable. You're gonna get pulled into questioning by the police. Brilliant. I'm glad I look like a criminal with this mustache. So <laughs> That's, that's it for day one. It looks like I've convinced a lot of people that I've grown a mustache, so I've got to keep it going for the rest of the week. I'll see you tomorrow for the next prank. Okay, so it's day number two of my little experiment trying to prank people on my social media. Can I just say before I even get into today's one that I feel so bad. I'm such a bad liar. I had one person who popped up to me telling me that I, I suited a moustache and whatever and they looked good on me. I just cracked under the pressure. I told them the truth. I told them what I was doing, but they promised me not to go around telling everyone about it. So <laughs> I really hope they don't. So for today's one, I wanted to kind of step out the boat a little bit. Uh, I wanted to test myself. So instead of just having a moustache, I've also now dyed my hair. So when I was editing this photo, I wanted to kind of choose a color that was a little bit like, a little bit out there, but not too extreme that it was unbelievable. So like at first I wanted to go for like a really like light lime green, but then I thought that just looks too silly to believe to be believable. So I went for a blue hair dye. I struggled so much trying to trying to get it to not look like I just stuck a blue layer over my hair. I'm still not 100% happy with it to be honest. Like I can still see the the imperfections in it. But I've sent it around to a couple of my friends who know what I'm doing. And they've told me that it looks perfectly fine, that it looks believable. In fact, it was the moustache that I added on. I had to add the moustache to keep consistency. Um, it was the moustache that didn't look like it fitted right. So I had to go back and edit that and kind of make it blend in with my face well. So I've now posted it on social media and I'm waiting for people to get back to me and to tell me what they think of my new hair dye as well as my moustache. <laughs> okay, so it's still Tuesday uh, and it's been about seven or eight hours since I posted up the uh, photo of me with the blue hair and the moustache and it hasn't got as much interaction as I, I was hoping for it to. So I've had uh, <laughs> my mom pop up and she was like, is this for real? Like, and I've just kind of had to play it off. Um, and someone else sent like a far emoji, obviously saying it looks really good. There, there's just not been, there's not been that stirring of like, of audacity. So I think tomorrow I really need to think of something that um, 
that's really going to make people want to comment on it, whether it's positively or negatively. I want people to, to really fall for it. I've just posted a TikTok up as well. I was hesitant on doing it, but if people ask, I'm just going to play it off as though I've recorded it you know, a week or so ago. I just thought it was a really funny TikTok and I wanted to upload it. Let's see how tomorrow goes. Hopefully tomorrow is a bit better or else this is going to be such a poor experiment. <laughs> okay, so I've just uploaded uh, day three. This is a Photoshop of a dog. Um, I've pretended that I purchased a dog. I'm not overly happy with it. I'm not sure that it looks 100% real. And I'm really nervous because my friends were kind of like, some were like, yeah, this looks really real. And some were like, I don't know, there's something off about it. So. Oh, I don't know. I think this might be the one where I get caught out. It took me quite a while to, to try and edit. There's something completely different about just editing a moustache on someone's face or adding just a materialistic object. But this is like, this is a dog. This is a living being. So it's going to interact. Um, it's going to have shadows. It's going to it's gonna blend into the foreground. It took me forever to try and do it because I just couldn't, I, I just couldn't get it right. And I'm still not 100% happy with it. So what I've done is I've added, I've added one of those things that you can add on the Instagram story where it's like a little slider. So I've put a heart there and I'm assuming that all the people that take it all the way to 100% think that the dog's real and find it really cute. If I got 0% then they either hate dogs or they've caught me out and obviously my DMs are still open so people can still criticise or comment. I'm hoping today's one gets more of a reaction than yesterday's because yesterday's just like no one cared at all. I also wore a hat deliberately in, in this photo as well because I just I just didn't want to go through the pain of having to dye my hair blue again. I'll see you guys later. I've only just put up the, uh, up the slider in the photo so i'll see you guys later when our reactions are in oh i'm so nervous <laughs> i genuinely have butterflies and i don't it's so stupid anyway see you later hello so i'm just following up on the picture from today let me be honest i really don't think that it was that great i don't think i did a great job in it at all i thought it was really obvious to me but apparently it wasn't that obvious to other people because literally everybody that swiped across for the uh for the little scale thing on instagram all went to the very top they all loved it they all loved the little doggo um i had i had a message asking if it was a boy or a girl so actually that went a a heck of a lot better than I thought it would have. I really hope tomorrow's one can be a step up because I don't want to just rely on a little slider or some poll or anything to get people's opinions. I want people to actually directly contact me and be like, what on earth is going on? What is this? So I've got to try and think of something tomorrow that's like, that's really out there, but still believable. So pray for me. <laughs> it's really motivated me again to carry on with this. See you tomorrow. So you know, I accidentally deleted the footage from this morning. So it was basically me explaining how I was gonna edit the photo and what the photo was and whatever. But instead, um, I'll just play the, the footage of me editing behind what I'm saying right now. So all you need to know is this is what the photo looked like in the end, okay? And you're about to see how it got made as well as me talking about people's reactions. Okay, sorry. Okay, so it's now the evening of day number four, I believe, of my little experiment. And I think today's one is actually the one that's got the most interaction on it. As you can see here, we've had uh, quite a few people send responses to it. I'm taking the wow is like, wow, that's pretty cool. And the what is like, what on earth is that? So as you can see, a pretty even uh, outcome. Something that I wanted to address was tonight we had a meeting uh, of, with our youth. We had a few of our kids together for a life group meeting and I deliberately kept my camera off and my mic off because I didn't want to give away that obviously I don't have a bald hair and a moustache. The the kids in there, a majority of them I'm following on Instagram. I just don't want to, I don't want to ruin it for them. There was a point in the meeting that uh, the young people actually turned around and asked me if I had shaved my hair and uh, grew a moustache and 
I was, I, f- I was like, oh my goodness, how do I respond? Because I don't want to lie to them. Um, so I just kind of said, maybe I did, maybe I didn't. I, I'm taking that as they believe it. One of them said that I needed to send uh, a photo to the group chat of my hairstyle at the moment because it keeps changing over this quarantine period. So again, I'm taking that as they believe that I've shaved my hair off. I'm looking forward to tomorrow. Tomorrow's the last day. But at the same time, I'm just, I'll be so relieved that I can just say it was all a joke because I don't like lying to people. And also, I'm just like, it's tiring me out doing all these photoshops. And I actually don't like people thinking that I look a bit of a weirdo. So I've just had blue hair with a mustache. I mean, so I'll see you guys then. I can't wait to get this over and done with. <laughs> So basically, I've just done a photo edit of um, me toothless, well, m- missing one of my teeth, and that was going to be the photo for today. Uh, making out as though I've um, I've lost a tooth doing something. Oh, I tried to put the mustache on, and I just couldn't get it to look right at all, and I've given up at the moment. So I'll either try again later, or I'll do something completely different. Oh, I thought I literally thought this would have been the easiest one to do, but I guess just the angle that my face is at, I the mustache just doesn't fit right at all and um oh, and i also i also accidentally deleted the file so thankfully i was screen recording so i've just had to go and screen capture my screen recording to use as the actual photo because i lost the actual the the file of me without a tooth <sighs> life is so stressful here in lockdown see you guys later okay so the results are in and I have not been caught out, so that's brilliant. That either tells me that I'm so good at Photoshop that I can convince people that I've transformed my physical appearance, or it means that nobody really cares enough to interact. <laughs> I've had people pop up to me asking how I'd uh, knocked a tooth out, asking me if it's real, um, which technically means that they haven't figured it out. They're, they're only asking, so I'm taking that as a win. In conclusion, was this uh, an important important experiment to do. Was it worth it? <sighs> probably not really, no. All week people have probably thought that I've gone uh, clinically insane. Yeah, so I probably won't ever be doing this again, <laughs> but it, it gave me something to do at least throughout the week. If you're following me on social media, let me know if I did get you at all. Let me know in the comments below or send me a message. I'd be really interested to know, um, even, if, even if you didn't care. Was it convincing? Was it not? Let me know. If you're not following me on social media, you definitely should. Go and follow me on Instagram at matt.lewis.clark. Don't forget to subscribe because I'll probably end up doing more videos. Okay. Uh, bye. <laughs>